Hi, I'm Karmesh Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about uh, Sunday, the 4th of June. Today the moon is a full moon in uh, Sagittarius at 3.45 a.m. Universal Time, uh, which makes it a beautiful, gorgeous, very, very decisive uh, day, very clear, transparent day, if you're Sagittarius, also if you're Aries and Leo. How's it going to be for all signs? Uh, Aries, this is a super, super dynamic day, very decisive, very, uh, very clear, very precise. It opens new opportunities. Maybe it's only one that you really need. And this is one of those days. It's a Sunday. So probably maybe you should sit and think about your projects, about your work uh, for this month, for June. Uh, and maybe you'll come up with a bright idea. This is a very beautiful, um, resourceful day. Moving to Taurus, Taurus, this uh, full moon lies or falls in the uh, eighth house, which means that a certain, um, maybe it's a legal issue, a legal case, maybe financial thing, something comes up and uh, uh, it sheds light, it highlights this issue. So maybe it's something you have to think about, or maybe you were thinking about, and then it came up. Uh, today. So in all cases, it's not a negative day. Just be careful in case you go out. Just try to uh, not to break any law in all cases. Moving to Gemini with the full moon in uh, in Sagittarius. It's uh, something that happens once every tw uh, every uh, every year. So it's uh, kind of uh, an enlightening day or maybe it's a day that points out to you very clearly about a certain condition, a condition about a relation, about a contract that you have at work, maybe something, a partnership with your, maybe with your friends, something like that, maybe in society, in your community. So it is in a way, it's a kind of an, um, uh, it causes some anxiety or maybe some tension, but in all cases, it's not a negative day if you take it in a, um, in a positive way. Like if you take it that it's shedding some light, it's highlighting a certain issue, look at that. Look at what it is showing you. Maybe it's showing you some flaws in a relation, some problems, and this means that you have to start working on them. Moving to cancer, it's a long day. It can be uh, exhausting. It can deplete your energy. Uh, something comes up, you know that you cannot stand it. Uh, maybe you just want to sleep it off. You just want to forget about everything. Today is easier, mind you, today is easier and even more positive, imagine, than um, Monday and Tuesday. So things may get accumulated, especially um, uh, psychologically, you know, so you have to inspire yourself to be positive and happy. Try to be happy. Try to make yourself happy, uh, but in a positive way. You don't want to put yourself in a risky situation because things are not helpful at all. It's not a lucky day. Not today, not Monday, not Tuesday. So be extra careful. Moving to Leo, it's a beautiful, helpful day. It's very nice. It's very helpful. It's uh, quite interesting and it's quite uh, lucky. It's one of those beautiful days that... Um, encourage you to be super uh, super active super uh, uh, super helpful uh, you're very charismatic it gives you a lot of beautiful aura around you so try to flow with it in a positive way don't be arrogant don't be too proud because people would notice that instead keep a nice smile be very helpful in your community with your people and then you will see that you will be treated like a king or like a queen uh, moving to Libra, it's a nice, uh, moving to, um, uh, said, uh, moving to Virgo. Virgo, this is a kind, kind of a complicated day with the full moon in the fourth house. It's all about family. It's all about personal things. It's all about your feelings. It's all about how you feel inside. It can be a weekday, meaning that you may feel a little bit tension, or it can be that just something uh, personal is happening or family related happening around you but in all cases it can be a moody day so pay attention to that tomorrow monday will be better okay moving to libra it's a very fast day it's very active it's a very uh, 
uh, exciting it's very helpful i think you can enjoy this beautiful day uh, many things will take place if you actually if you're a very active person otherwise uh, your activity can be uh, quite mental like you're uh, very studious you like to sit and study you like to do some work physically or mentally and i think you can be very helpful to others this is one beautiful very active and very rewarding day enjoy it as for Scorpio, Scorpio with the full moon in the second house, it can be about getting rewards, it can be about enjoying your day, it can be about spending, it can be about winning, it can be anything, it Can be you can win friendship, you can win a, the trust of someone, or maybe you just spend money and maybe you lose the trust of someone, so be careful today, you just want to be careful about the win and lose thing, you know, so be careful with that. Let's move now to Sagittarius with the full moon in your sign. This is a very, very interesting day. Once a year, the moon is full in your sign. Every lunar month, we have a moon in, in Sagittarius, of course. But once a year, we have a full moon in Sagittarius, and this is it. It's like the uh, culmination of certain efforts, like the culmination of a certain act of something, a uh, certain condition. Uh, it can be anything. Maybe you discover something, something personal related to you. Maybe you just want to decide on something. Uh, it seems like you come to terms with a certain issue and then you embark on a new journey for you to discover. It's a beautiful day. Moving to Capricorn. Capricorn, this is a very slow day. It's quite uh, boring. It's quite uninteresting or it quite it can be quite disappointing, uh, quite um, maybe just useless and confusing. Be extra careful. You don't want to put yourself in a certain condition that depletes your energy, mental and physical. Double check on your bookings, double check on your travel issues, everything, because anything can be totally weird. Okay, so be careful. Moving to Aquarius, it's a nice, happy, useful, and resourceful day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Meaning like if you need help, you will get it. If you need the service of someone, the advice of someone, I think you can be very happy and uh, content. So this is a beautiful day. You will enjoy it. Um, um, today is a lot, a lot better than Monday and Tuesday. Okay. So if you have some issues to be uh, decided or clarified between Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday, um, actually till Wednesday, 8.45 a.m., okay, universal time, today is uh, a lot better. It is the day. Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, this is a day that actually uh, puts you under the spotlights. It's like it may corner you, okay, and you don't want to do that. You don't want that to happen, so be careful. You don't want to get involved in trouble. You don't want to get involved in problems. This is a day for you to be careful about your, 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 your name, you know, about your reputation. This is a day that may bring up some, 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 some dirt from the bottom of the lake, you know. Uh, it's like you're um, just moving things around in a cup of coffee or a cup of something. Uh, so maybe you have to be more attentive, more careful about things today. Uh, try not to attract the attention of those bad people. You don't want them. Okay, stay aside. Uh, let's wrap it up for Born on this. 3rd of June and the 4th of June. This uh, year can be a year different than any other year. It's a year that sheds light and uh, importance on the relations, all kinds of relations, depending on your age. This year paves the way for the next year, the next following birthday, because big changes will knock on your door. Uh, you have to go back like 11, 12 years, plus or minus, and something similar of importance will take place. So pave the way for that, okay? That would be your best um, bet and your best uh, intention for this beautiful year. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.